4th. The officers who found Maddie Kingsbury's body last year discussed those moments in court today. It is part of the ongoing trial of Adam Fravel, the man accused of killing Kingsbury. Fox 9's Rob Olson spent the day at the courthouse in Mankato and joins us with more on the testimony. Rob? Yeah, and we had expected uh, potentially to get to Madeline Kingsbury's family and friends on the witness stand today. That ultimately did not happen as it was slow going today uh, with witnesses, more law enforcement witnesses, as you mentioned, and also some BCA scientists on the stand. On that note, the last witness on the stand today, uh, a BCA uh, DNA uh, investigator here, noting that Adam Fravel's DNA was in fact found on the towel that was wrapped around Maddie Kingsbury's head and neck when her body was found. Uh, other investigators here too, again, talking about various things in the investigation as they really carefully lay out all the evidence here, the procedural evidence here of this investigation. On the stand Monday, the lead investigator, Fort Winona Police, who testified about photos he took of Adam Fravel six days after Maddie Kingsbury went missing. One showed small scratches on Fravel's face. Others showed yellow bruises on both sides of his upper chest. More bruises on his left arm, just above the elbow, and also on his left wrist. The prosecution appears to be setting up an argument that these injuries are signs of a struggle made when Maddie Kingsbury was asphyxiated. Jurors also heard once again that black gorilla tape found in the garage of the home they shared in Winona. Match tape found binding Maddie's body. Also on the stand Monday, the lead BCA agent in the case who testified that when Maddie's body was found in early June, partially in a culvert along a gravel road not far from Fravel's parents' home, that she was very well concealed by large logs that appeared very deliberately placed. The way they were stacked, Agent Joe Swenson said, made it pretty obvious. Prosecutors had hoped to use pictures from a journal believed to be Maddie's, saying it was further evidence of her relationship with Fravel. The judge ruled it will not be allowed, agreeing with the defense objection that it was not relevant and no way to prove that she actually wrote it. Now, again, it's likely now tomorrow will be when we start to hear from uh, Maddie Kingsbury's family and friends. And that was the source of uh, some objections today that was handled with the jury out of the courtroom about what they can and cannot testify to. Some of this was covered in a court order pre-trial that uh, they will be able to testify about some things, but they cannot testify about her state of mind. They cannot testify that she was scared or concerned for her safety, cannot testify testify about any non-specific statements of abuse that she may have made, <clears throat> made, but there are other specific things that they will be able to share with this jury when they get up on the stand, likely tomorrow. Live in Mankato, Rob Olson, Fox 9.